What is up guys? Hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be talking about pot fishing. Uh, now there's pretty much two different types of pot fishing that you can do. Uh, that is crab pots and lobster pots. They basically work the same way. Uh, it's just if you do crab pots you will get more fish meat but less XP. And if you do lobster pots, you'll get more XP, but less fish meat. So, uh, you sort of have to weigh your options, decide which one you want to do. Uh, so, the first thing that you need to do is actually come to any of the fishing and diving markets. Uh, either one from your faction, like this one, or uh, this one down here, sort of on Vespucci Beach. And with this one, uh, you have to go during the store hours, which I think is like 8 or 9 o'clock until 6 or 7 o'clock. And you can see that time up in the top right corner. Uh, that is the like, in-game time. Uh, and you will want to buy crab pots or lobster pots. Each of them cost one skill token. I'm just going to buy one of each just so I can show that they are basically both the same. And so, once you have bought your lobster pots or crab pots, you can place them on any open water uh, that does not include pools. So, let me just throw them. Yeah, let me uh, spawn a boat and then I'll do it. Uh, yeah, sure. Doing this just so I have something to stand on. <laughs> and let's go ahead and go inventory. Wow, I need to clean my inventory out. I haven't done it in a while. Uh, so then a lobster pot and place. So then come back in 1 to 22 hours to collect it. Uh, now that is real life time, not in game time. So in order to place multiple, they actually have to be far enough apart that if you look on the map you can sort of see you can see the circle around that you want to be far enough away from that so that another one of those circles could fit hopefully that makes sense basically make it far enough apart so that the uh, like area the AOE of the the pots do not overlap with each other uh, so how this will work is you can come back anytime between 1 and 22 hours. That will depend on your fishing level. Uh, now, if you are fishing level 1, the max amount that it can stay and have the most in it is 3 hours. And that goes up to 22 hours at fishing level 100. And so, after the peak time, you will have about six hours to come back and get it before uh, it starts degrading and you get less yield from it. And I think that the max yield that it can go down to is, or like it can degrade up to 25%, I think is the max. So uh, try your best to get it by like the, the peak time. Uh, it should tell you, as with mine, it said uh, one to 22 hours. The 22 hours is the peak time so that's what you want to try and do and yeah so now I just have to wait and uh, yeah I guess I will be back in 22 hours which will be tomorrow at 1 o'clock so I will actually be in class at that time so uh, I might do it a little early or I might do it a little late so uh, but either way, it, it'll be the same way of getting it, so. Uh, I will be back in, I don't know, sometime tomorrow, and I'll pick these up. Okay, we are back. What for you guys was instantaneous. For me, was pretty much a full day. Actually, more than a full day. I think I recorded yesterday at 3 o'clock, and it is now 5 o'clock. Uh, but, because I am still within that 6-hour uh, time period it will still be the highest yield possible uh, so let's just go ahead and swim out here 
Uh, I guess I can uh, collect the pot. So I got 46 fish lobsters and 60 XP. We'll say 58 XP. Uh, that's on double XP and whatnot. So really probably around 40 or so on like a normal uh, thing. Let's go ahead the tropic. And let's go grab the other pot. Are. And from the crab, we got 138 crab, but only 29 XP. So then once you do the same as with any other... Wow, I once again really need to clean out my inventory. Um, I forgot I have a... Uh, good knife. Uh, same as with any other fish, uh, you gut it the same way, get fish meat from it, uh, and then take it and sell it at the fish market. So in total, from those two, uh, two pots, I got 9,200 fish meat. Now, let me do some quick math. Where is my phone? It is not here. Okay. I'll be right back in a second once I do some math and I'll give you some numbers. Okay, so I am back from my calculations. So if you were to have all 40 pots out at once split 20-20 like what I had it split, uh, you are allowed to have 40 out at a time uh, of any kind, uh, any mix, like 30 of one, 10 of the other, doesn't really matter. You can have 40 at a time. Let's say you have it split 20-20. It, you will, every day if you wait, uh, if you do it, you will get 184,000 if you are at the 22-hour mark. Uh, of course, that will be less if your fishing level is lower. Uh, but let's say about 184,000. It would take you only about 10 days to get enough fish to sell and get level 100. So, if you actually keep up with your 40 pots, you can get level 100 fishing fairly quickly. And if you include doing tug fishing once you get to level 30, that can be insanely quick. Uh, and considering that fishing used to be a fairly slow skill for leveling up, but then again, I got to level 100 without selling any fish, so that's probably why it took so long. Um... <laughs> But that's besides the point. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely the way you want to go. Have pots sitting and waiting while you're doing your other fishing. And yeah, that's the way to go. So hopefully this answers any questions that you have about pot fishing. I should have driven over here. Uh, if you have any questions about pot fishing, uh, leave them in the comments down below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability and yeah uh, hopefully this has helped if you have any other topics that you want me to cover in future videos leave those down in the comments as well and I'll be sure to cover them and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next episode bye bye